It's not true that we're here from the FDA to declare chocolate a minimum daily requirement. Another thing that scientists, though, have lately said is very good to you and good for you, and that's thinking. They've got a new phrase for it. They call it mental aerobics. And we like to think, Anne Strainchamps and Steve Paulson and I, for the 15 years we've worked on this program, that we have been doing mental aerobics for ourselves, keeping our listeners' brains uh, buff and toned. Really, though, we've just been having fun producing a radio show that spotlights and celebrates great minds and ideas from our time. We owe our first thanks to the poets and the writers, the artists and the scientists, the philosophers and the musicians who have brought us all of their ideas. But really, our thanks have to go to our team, Mary Lou Finnegan, Doug Gordon, Charles Monroe Kane, Marv Nunn, Carrillo Owen, and Veronica Rickert. Thank you, all of you, from them, from the staff at Wisconsin Public Radio, and from Public Radio International. This is a great moment for us to feel that you have recognized our work. Thank you.